Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am so excited. I just got two of the Home Edit holiday organizers in the mail. So I'm gonna be unboxing them. I'm gonna be showing you what I got. I got the ornament organizer and I also got the light organizer for Christmas lights, tree lights, anything like that. So they're an exciting addition to my organization this holiday season and I'm gonna be giving you a review of what I think about them. If you're new to my channel, hit the red subscribe button down below and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss a future upload. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first organizer that I got was their Christmas ornament organizer. The reason that I got this is I just moved as you guys know, so I got a brand new artificial tree and I had to get a bunch of ornaments for it. So though they're about to go up on the tree now, I know that I'm going to need something to store them with in the future. This seems like a great option. It is a pretty small bin, but it does hold quite a lot of ornaments. And it comes with its own organization so that there's one spot for each Christmas ornament. They won't get all cluttered together. They're not going to get crushed by one another. So I thought it was a great deal for the price. I'll show you. It really is quite a small bin when you think about it. It's about half the size, I would say, of a standard storage bin. Um, and it comes with uh, two sides that open up top. It's got a little plastic piece that will slide in and lock. Um, I'd say the plastic, it's not super sturdy. It'll do fine if it's stored inside in a dry, cool place, um, but don't want to oversell the construction of the plastic. It's kind of what I would expect though. When you open that up at the bottom, when you get it, are the cardboard pieces. You actually have to uh, do some manual construction, put together your uh, pieces that are going to hold all the ornaments. So that's what it looks like. It comes with some little directions on it, uh, but it basically just comes with your cardboard components. What is nice about this is they have different grooves pre-cut into the cardboard. So if you need smaller, ornament size organizers, so three inches, you can use that. If you need, if you've got larger ornaments and need a bigger size, you can also configure it so that you can fit up to four inch ornaments in here. So depending on the size of your ornaments, that's how much you can fit in your bin. I'm gonna be making a rainbow tree as inspired by the Home Edit's um, rainbow tree that they do. So as you can see, I got a bunch of different colors of ornaments, so I will need quite a bit of ornament storage after I use them on my nice new artificial tree. I'm gonna show you how easy this cardboard part is to put together, and then I'll show you what it looks like in the bin. So first, you just have to remove the part that's holding it all together, but definitely rip on the, the front side so that you don't miss your instructions on the back side. It's not hard, but I did use the graphics the first time. So what you have is three pieces like this, two that have the grooves, and then one that is completely um, just blank, no grooves on it. You've got three of those, and you'll just kind of alternate layers as you go. So first step is just ripping these three apart. They are um, pre-cut, so they come apart super easily. And then you need to take each part with grooves and break that into four sections. Again, they come apart super easily. All right, then you're just gonna start building a grid shape. So I'll show you up close what the pieces with the grooves look like. And then you've got some that have three grooves. Depending on the size that you want, so if you want the three inch organizers, so you wanna make sure that you have four across, you're gonna go into the far groove on each side and then place it in the middle. If you want bigger organizers and fewer of them across, you're gonna go into the second from the outside on each side and your middle piece. And they just slide right together. So you can see that. And you're just going to continue the same thing. So here, this is what I've put together so far. Flip it upside down so that you get the additional groove pieces up top. Just 
Just line them up, push them all in. So I have just created my first layer. You're gonna do that one more time. And then you're just going to start stacking them into the bin. So first layer goes into the bin. After each layer is where you're gonna use one of your flat pieces that had no grooves cut into it. Sits right on top so that you can then stack an additional layer on top of that. So once the entire thing is built out, here's what it looks like from the top. And again, it's got the doors that just close and latch right in the middle. And then you can see what it looks like with all the different layers from the side. So you're building your grid layer, flat layer, grid layer, flat layer, grid, flat, etc. And all in all, pretty quick, I would say less than five minutes setup. Here's what the storage organizer looks like with ornaments inside. So you can see these bulb ornaments fit perfectly in the three inch ornament holder size. If you had bigger ornaments than this, here's my hand for size reference, then you might want to configure yours with the four inch organizer. See, for the most part, some of these are even a little bit small, so they're coming out the side, but they will Perfect organization option for these Christmas ornaments when I am not using them in season. The second organizer that I got from the Home Edits Holiday Organization Collection is to organize lights. So if you've got Christmas lights that go outside, lights that you use for your Christmas tree, I honestly have some Halloween lights that uh, I need to store until next Halloween. Whatever you're going to be using that for, this is another option. So same bin size as the Christmas uh, ornament organizer and same plastic, a little on the flimsy side, but not bad for the price. And then inside this, you get the organizers that you need to put together to actually store the lights. So it comes with five, so you can store five separate cords of lights and they will all store and fit within this bin. They sell this in one pack or two packs, depending on how many lights you need to store. Also, if you've got really long strings of lights, they may take more than one of the organizers. So what these look like up close, they are plastic and they come in 10 separate pieces. You're basically just going to follow three steps on the back, connect them backwards, and it's going to create the organizer that'll hold the lights. All 10. I'm gonna pull two of them. And they kind of nest within one another. So you're going to take them apart. And you're just going to line up the backs of the middle piece. And they are going to clip together. And there's a locking mechanism on them. And that becomes device that holds your lights go in the middle so that if you're rolling them out it's super easy it's gonna prevent them from getting tangled or knotted which is always my least favorite part of any kind of holiday decorating so I'm really excited to have this it's gonna keep my life easier but also more organized thanks so much for watching and I hope you guys have a fantastic and organized holiday season I will see you guys next time